Hey guys, this is a basic manual for your iPhone. It doesn't matter whether you have an iPhone 6 Plus, 6, 5S, or 5. It's basically the same thing. We still have iOS 8, and it's the same thing for all your iPhones, okay? So this applies to all those iPhones. So the first thing that you may want to insert on your iPhone once you got it, okay, before even you turn it on, you will want to insert your SIM card. So that's gonna be on the side of your iPhone, okay? So that's uh, for iPhone 5S and 5. You're gonna see it on the side, okay? Now, let's say you lost that little thing that came with your iPhone in order to open that up. You can just open up with an earring. So here's an earring, and I'm just gonna put it in this little hole, okay? And then I can just take out the SIM card. Now here's the SIM card. It's a very small SIM card. So we just have to put that in, right in there. And our iPhone, well, when we do this, our iPhone should be off, just for safety, um, so no glitches happen. However, you can do it when it's on, not it's gonna happen really. Um, so once we have that in, that's your first thing that you wanna do with your iPhone. Um, so once we have that in, you want to go into settings on your iPhone, okay? Uh, and the very first things that you want to look into is your Apple ID and importing your contacts. So we're gonna import your contacts from your SIM card. Let's say you had contacts on your SIM card because it's fr from an older phone or from just another phone that you had. So, the first thing that we want to go is scroll down in settings, going to right there in uh, mail, contacts, and calendars. We're going to scroll down, and right here you will see the option for import contacts. So you just have to tap on there, it's going to import all your contacts into your iPhone. Now, if you had an iPhone before, in that case, all you have to do is sign into your iCloud account, and it's going to transfer all your information to your new iPhone. Okay, so from here, you can also do other stuff such as your accounts for email. So from here, all you have to do is tap on add account and in there, you can add several accounts for your email. Okay, now if you don't want to do it from here, we can just uh, minimize this. So just by tapping right here on the home button, we can minimize it and we can go to our mail. Once you go into your mail app, it's going to ask you what mail you want to sign up, okay? Now, I think it's easier and I find it easier to do it from right there, settings. Because on your settings, you can add several email accounts, okay? So once you have all those set up, all you have to do is go back, go to iCloud and set up your iCloud. Okay, so right away, what you want to do is turn all these on. You want your mail to be backed up on your iCloud, you want your contacts and all this other stuff, okay? Now, why do you need that on? That's because just in case you lose your iPhone or let's say you don't have your iPhone with you, you're in another country, you can access a computer, you can go to iCloud.com and you can look up your information there. From there, you just have to put your username, so that's going to be your email that you signed up with iCloud and your password. Once you get in there, you can look up your contact information and other documents that you may have on iCloud Drive, okay? Uh, something pretty cool that Apple made was this app, iCloud Drive, which is a little bit better than the old iCloud since you can import any document into it. It looks a little bit more and works a little bit more like Dropbox if you used that before. Anyways, so that's something that you want to do for sure. Okay, uh, something else that you want to back up are sh for sure your photos. Now, right here in your photos, you want to turn on for sure my photo stream. That will sync up up to a thousand pictures, okay? So that's in a backup um, besides the um, gigs, the five gigs that Apple gives you, you have a thousand pictures to be backed up. On, on, on photo stream. Now it's very important to have that photo stream on so you have that apart from your iCloud, okay? Um, something you want to go into right now, mine as well, we're in iCloud, is go to storage. And there you're gonna see how much storage you got. And from there you can go to manage storage and you can set up what you want to be backed up. You don't want everything to be backed up. Some apps are just not worth it, such as Facebook. Why would you like that to be backed up? There's no real reason. It's all online anyway, so even if you erase it and you lose all that information, it's still online. So it doesn't matter, you don't need that backup on your phone. So that you would turn off, for example. So right now here I have the options for my iPad and my iPhone, so I'm just gonna go into my iPhone right now. And right here you can see that my photo library, I have turned it off. That's because I have a lot of photos and I don't want those to be backed up on iCloud because I already have photo streams. So they're already being 
um, backed up those thousand pictures are being backed up on photo stream so every thousand pictures what I do is I sync them up to my Mac and I just download download them if you have Windows it regular Windows laptop don't worry you can you can just plug it into your computer and from there it's gonna let you download all your pictures so I would do that every thousand pictures so you just have that backup and then you can just reset your photo stream okay now for every topic that I'm touching on this basic manual um, I do have specific and really long extensive detailed um, videos which teach you a little bit more about photo stream and other topics that I'm just barely touching on this manual right now anyways uh, from here I would turn off photo library um, just because you will see it fill up a lot faster, especially if you have videos, it's gonna fill up very fast. And you want that backup to be always updated, especially because your contacts, okay? I would put that as my primary thing right now. Um, from here, you can put show all, all apps, and you can see what apps are turned on. The ones that are green, those are turned on. To turn them off, you just have to swipe your finger. So I'm just gonna swipe my finger and text me, okay? Or just tap on it, and it's gonna say turn off and delete. Yeah, why not? And there we go, I don't have that backup on my cloud, it's not wasting that space. I don't really need to have that backup. Uh, same thing for Skype, I mean, I don't really need that either. I don't need a lot of these things I haven't turned off yet, but I have turned off a bunch of them, just not all of them just yet. Anyways, uh, so from there, to get out, we just tap, tap our way. Now remember, these screens are fairly sensitive, so you don't really need to put too much pressure on them. They actually work better if you tap on them lightly. Okay, now that we have that set up, the next thing that we want to do is download Facebook, YouTube, and other apps that you may not see on your phone just yet. Now to do that, all you have to do is look for your App Store. So that's gonna be this icon right here that says App Store. If you don't see it right away, all you have to do is really tap anywhere between apps and just scroll your finger downwards and you will see this screen. In this screen, you just have to tap in App Store and you will see it come up okay so then you can just tap on the icon and open it up so I'm gonna type in App Store again so there we go we have those choices we just tap on that we open up our App Store so once we have our App Store open we can download anything that we're missing from our phone so just tap in search so that's the bottom right here and we can just tap up here where it says search and type in Facebook for example that's most popular one that I was looking for so once we got that we just type on Facebook and we will see Facebook now you see open right now that I have that message that's because I already have it installed now let's say I erased it I would have that iCloud that cloud thing I just have to tap in it that just means that I downloaded that before right now it's deleted Instagram from my phone that's why it's you don't see it um, as an open icon now if you don't have something such as this one right here uh, photo blend you will see get now if I tap on get it says install just tap on install it's gonna ask you for your password okay so just put in your password for your iCloud ID and it's gonna start downloading now let's say once it's downloaded so I'm just gonna get out from there so once the app is downloaded you will see it on one of your screens if you don't see it you can just find it again just by swiping your finger downwards you see this screen where you can search for stuff okay um, now let's say you want to delete that app you downloaded the wrong app now you can delete it just by holding your finger on the app itself or any app actually and it's gonna start this wiggly thing with the X's on the sides all you have to do is tap on the X and it's gonna erase so I'm gonna erase this speed test right now I'm just gonna tap on the X and from there it's gonna tell me this exactly if I want to delete that data and it's just gonna give you that little warning right so we're just gonna tap on delete there we go it's gone not to get out from this um, from editing our whole thing right here all we have to do is tap on the home button and we're out of there okay now let's say you want to move your apps around you don't want your app to be here but you want it to be up or you want it to be on another screen all you have to do is pretty much the same thing just hold your finger on top of one of the apps they're gonna start shaking again and you can just drag them along okay so I can drag this one here and put it here or if I want it on top I can put it on top okay now let's say I want to make a folder so I want to have a lot of apps in one little folder so all I have to do is really hold my finger on top of one put it on top of the other and it's gonna create a folder by itself 
Now you can delete this folder later on. You can edit the name as well just by tapping on the name itself. And from here I can just put my custom name. I'm just gonna put J on it. Put done. And that's it. Just tap on the home button. Tap on my home button again. And there's my folder. So once I tap in my folder, I can see that two apps that I put in there. You can put several apps in there so that's how you can organize your stuff. Um, I have folders for example just for my photography stuff. I want that same photography. I have all my cameras in there. Just makes it easier for me to access, not a whole bunch, right? So a lot of people put a lot of folders on their iPhones just because there's a million apps and yeah, it's easier just to organize them that way. Now if you want to get rid of your folder, you can just open it up again. Just hold your finger on top of one of the apps, get it out of there. Now those are the basics of how to delete your apps, move them around, make folders. Now let's say you know you notice that your iPhone, the battery, is not lasting long. That's because you have a lot of things on and probably opened. Um, for example, every time you open an app, let's say we open Safari, that's where we look up stuff. Uh, this is where you Google stuff. You can have several windows open, okay? So let's say we have Google open. Now if you want to open other tabs like you saw right here that I have several, you can just click on the plus sign and create another tab. And you can always keep those tabs open or you can just swipe them out to close them. So I'm just gonna swipe this one out and then it's closed, okay? Um, just gonna click done. From here you can just Google anything, like always, okay? So, so to preserve your battery, what you want to do for sure is just swipe your finger from down here below, swipe it up, and you're gonna see this right here. Now this is pretty cool because it's quick access to turning off and on things, and even playing music, okay, really fast. So, from here we can see that our Bluetooth, your Bluetooth is probably on the whole time. You don't need it on the whole time. Unless you need it on, leave it on. If you don't need it on the whole time, I would turn it off just by tapping on it, and you're gonna see that it's off, okay? Now, here you have quick access to your flashlight, which is pretty cool. I use it quite a lot. You have calculator, okay? You can just get out of it by pressing the home button. Now we can go back in there and have quick access to our camera, okay? Now let's say you want to have even quicker access to your camera, okay, and your iPhone's off. You can just press the home button, and from here on the side, you're going to see that that little camera icon. Just uh, swipe your finger upwards, and you're going to see this, so it's all good, okay? Um, you, can, you can also swipe between cameras front and back, because you do have a front one. That's usually for FaceTime and you have your front one, okay, to take pictures of the stuff. You're gonna see that on the right hand side, on top, you're gonna see that little icon to switch your camera from back to front. You can, so you can just tap on there and we're just whip, switching cameras, okay. To close that we can just double tap and then just swipe our finger upwards on every single app that we have opened. Okay, it's very important to actually close your apps just so it doesn't run your data plan and same thing for your Wi-Fi um, it's gonna keep refreshing your apps um, some apps are even gonna be refreshed by themselves even if they're closed so there's a setting that we can go into there and turn those off but for now it's better just to close them up so it doesn't drain your battery okay so double tap on the home button and you're gonna see the apps that you have open so right now I just have settings open because I already closed the other ones so I can just swipe my finger upwards and it's closed okay so that's the proper way to close them right now if you open one like this and then just press your home button once it's minimized it's not really closed to close it once again double tap and then just swipe upwards so these are the basics into your iPhone if you want to get more detailed information about each of these things such as airplay maybe airdrop or any other information such as how to turn off your TV using your iPhone or even turn on your your lights or turn them off same thing for your garage door even your door from your house you can actually open it up with your iPhone please comment right here below and go just go right into my channel if once you subscribe you can go into my channel and see all my videos I have detailed videos about each of these topics so you can explore a little bit more but these are the basics for your iPhone if you guys have any questions comments again you can write here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you